Hello everybody who joined this live stream or to whom who are watching this video. <coughs> I've just started. So let me check. Let me check if I have sound and the video. One two one two one two test. One two one two one two test. Yeah, great. Hello everybody. Uh, Brian, the guy with E symbol. Stock. Hello from Orlando, Florida. Hi Stock. Manuela Kipes. Hi watching from Berlin, Germany. Hi there. Alex Double. Donald Person. Hi Donald. Face. K. Prosnell. Steven. Good morning or good night, Steven. I know it's uh, it's night in the US because it's uh, half past four in Ukraine, Sunday, so Sunday evening. And I know that many of you have night right now, um, apart from people from Germany, Finland, like Pasi, Erwitz, Steve from Luxembourg. Thank you so much, Steve, for kind words. Love your channel. Regards to your lovely wife. Thanks. Ola Morin, Privet. Hi from Poland. Hello team. Marius. Wow, guys, so many, so many of you here. Well, yeah, I decided to to do a live stream today. Uh, to do it outside because, yeah, honestly, I don't like stream at home. Uh, so I, I guess we have maybe 40 minutes or one hour to spend together with you. And I'd like to answer on some questions. Uh, voice not coming. It's not coming. It's here. It's you see. It's coming. It's here. Yeah. The Dutch is coming along nicely. Huh. Hi from Sri Lanka. Hello, one touch. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I missed someone because there are many of you. Hello from Portland. Outside is the best, is Luba cooking some shashlik. Unf unfortunately, she doesn't, she's, she's inside the house. I'm here with Jack and Jack is sleeping. Maybe I can show you him, yeah. You see, he's here, where? Oh, Jack, Jack, you just come here. Say hi. Yeah, so I'm here with Jack. He's a big guy already. Oh. Yeah, let me continue to read. Uh, hello, Paolo. I'm first generation Ukrainian from Pennsylvania. Hello, Dian. Dian Papas. Papas. Is it your surname? Uh, just follow hello from F FL, Florida, I guess. Compliments for your hard work on the property. Thanks, Manuela. Uh, hi, Jack from Chicago. Hello, hello. Jack is awesome. Hello from Colorado, yes. It's 7.30 in the morning here. Why are you not sleeping, Robin? It's early morning and you're not sleeping. I'm sorry, maybe I uh, woke up some of you. Maybe you received a notification, but I'm not sure. Uh, so what have you been doing, Paula? Is winter there now? Has it started to snow? Oh, no, it's not winter. It's uh, it's uh, actually like a summer. It was plus 18, plus 19 these days. So it feels like the summer. Everything is green around. So, you know, it's mixed. Uh, sometimes we have cold days, sometimes we had cold nights, it was it was freeze, like minus two, and uh, many trees were frozen, but later, like one or two days uh, ahead, or later, it was plus 15, plus 20, plus 22. If we take the October previous months, the weather was really like the summer, and uh, 
I saw many videos from Odessa that people they uh, were swimming in the sea in October. It's it sounds unreal for Ukraine, and even now, the weather forecast says it's now actually it's 13 degrees, but uh, like in the afternoon today we had uh, 17 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so uh, two tens. Two tens. Hey Paul, jak tam? Dobre, everything is good. Two tens. I have to work. Ah, Robin, I, I see, I see, yeah. Unfortunately, some people have to work on weekends. Yeah. Viper for, for 10 or 410. Hi Pablo, Utah is US here. Hi Viper. Hi from Australia, love your channel, keep it up. Hope all is well and you all are staying safe. Thanks a lot, Peter. Don't person they said on the internet that you're going to have a warm winter this season. I hope so, I hope so, because nobody knows what we we'll, will what is waiting for us this winter because as you remember last winter we had uh, many shutdowns. Russia attacked many of our power stations, so people stayed without the electricity, without the water heating. Mm, I remember we had almost three days without the electricity it was in town and uh, people who live in the countryside for whole time they had three four days without the electricity so it, it was really tough winter uh, angela crowd between 60 and 65 fahrenheit unfortunately every time when someone says temperature in fahrenheit i have to check i have to check the converter Con converter, like you no know, to uh, the rate between Celsius and Fahrenheit, because you know that uh, we. Tuck, one sec, Fahrenheit. Sixty Fahrenheit. It's fifteen degrees Celsius. Yeah, this is what we have now. Convert converter. Yeah, right converter. Because we have kilometers. I know that people in US you have miles like you check uh, speed in miles and temperature in fahrenheit and here it's uh, like you know we are living on the different uh, uh, opposite side of the planet so we have a bit different the kaipi show hi paul i'm from india i'm planning to start a youtube channel and showcase indian rural life like you did what you suggest here i suggest to be honest to be yourself not copy anyone uh, yeah this is the most important to to do something and to to make create invent uh, something that uh, nobody nobody does because when you're copying some blogger like uh, everybody will see that and everybody will write to you that ah oh, you're just copying one that guy like uh, be yourself like be yourself believe in your power and uh, everything will be successful for you but I know like uh, maybe there are other factors but who knows uh, how's new jack new jack is growing like uh, a bo bull like a bull he is really huge uh, we were filming the video today and maybe I will post it uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow so we'll see like if I take the jack on my arms, he almost maybe 150 or 160 height. So he's really a huge dog, even though he's only maybe 10 months, 10 months now. Uh, Steven, I'm saying with Celsius, it's difficult for me to convert. Seems it's difficult for everyone. Yeah. Uh, Donald, it was 80 degrees in Los Angeles, California yesterday. It's about 50 degrees at night. It's warm, it's warm. I I really, uh, let's say, envy people who who live in some warm uh, places, like like Los Angeles. I know that there are guys, you, you guys who live there, you don't have uh, cold winters. You have warm weather the whole year. So it's really, it's really great because I, to be honest, I don't like like to wear coats, to wear sweaters, to wear pants. 
like for me i like shorts i like i like when it's warm yeah and i i hate i really hate winters uh Aeon, thank you for your videos i'm visiting kiev the next few weeks to help film about the 10th anniversary of euromedan starting and it's been great seeing ukrainian creators share their stories wow it sounds interesting so if you want you you can write me you can uh, send me an email if you need some help about your trip but as i know there are not so many creators who stayed in ukraine nowadays especially english speaking creators i know that uh, unfortunately uh, many of youtubers who film in english uh, they left ukraine but i hope that everyone will come back uh, terry rogers good to see you paul greetings from illinois us i hope you and your family are safe and doing well thanks a lot terry yes yeah, thankfully my family is doing well and everybody is safe but unfortunately the war is still going and uh, people are dying every day and nobody knows when this uh, tragedy will end and will be over uh my cream remains into guys show girls guess guess like i don't know what that mean guess guess niche hello paolo will you be growing your own vegetables and fruit of course we do grow our own wedges fruits but it will be the next year louis sutton uh, i like you and luba's old house videos thanks louis louis it seems louis yeah not louis and by the way i have a friend with your no uh, it's yeah it's not one of my friends also has Satan surname. Uh, why you and, you and me both probably have friends in the Donetsk region and I have to check converter. <laughs> yeah. Mm, hello, Paul Luma. Nice to see you. Well, uh, Stephen, how is mom's garden doing? Still productive? It was productive, but uh, yeah, it's already fall, so she she planted everything. And now during the winter season, she will be selling these wedges, and yes, will be, she will be selling her, pro <coughs> her products. But it was it was really a good season. Mm. Yeah, sometimes uh, these uh, comments are glitching here in the studio, so. Mm, maybe I miss someone. I'm sorry for that. Uh, Brooke White, no question, just an expression of best luck from Germany. May you stay safe and everything be better soon. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, Diane, Diane, Papa, Spalo, your English was very good. Where did you learn to speak? Jack is gorgeous. Mm, actually, I don't even know. Maybe here with you guys. Yeah, I'm still learning English. Before. Uh, I was learning English at school, in university, with some tutors. Later, I just was watching movies, series, cartoons. But it's the, I'm still I'm still poor at Engl in English, so yeah, it's not it's not so easy, like uh, everybody thinks. But thanks thanks for your kind words. Jack is gorgeous. Yeah, Jack is really <laughs> a great dog. Uh, I love your videos at the swimming spot with the swing. Did you did you there this summer? Yeah, uh, we were there this summer, but uh, I don't remember if we swam there. Probably, maybe just one time because <coughs> this year, this summer, we really, we really, we really um, didn't swim a lot. Maybe three or four times. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like last season. Uh, John Savaski, hey Paolo, Pavlov. Uh, John Pavlov, it's the someone second name, like surname, like my name is Pavlo, <laughs> without Pav last V. But uh, yeah, I, I noticed that many people often write Pavlov instead of of uh, Pavlo. It's it's okay, like I treat that well and fine. But we have uh, professor. I guess we had the professor Pavlov. 
Mm, Kim Jones, hi Paula. Hello Kim. Where are you from? Are you from Korea? Kim. Uh, Kevin, give me money. Unfortunately, I, I I don't have a lot, Kevin. So I'm sorry. Angela, Americans are kind of wondering if funding will be swapped to Israel, and some kind of agreement will be made with Ukraine. Are Ukrainians here and thinking similar things? I know that the U.S. they are trying to like uh, to follow the similar proportion in providing the aid for Israel and for Ukraine. So I hope that everything will be like. Mm. You see, sometimes, sometimes it's really <coughs> hard for me to express some some thoughts like I, I i i have to think i have i need some time to create this sentence in un answer in my head so as i heard they are trying to yeah everybody knows maybe that because many of people are here from the us so uh, us is trying to make it fair like Uh, Beverly, does your mother have a lot of help in her garden? It's beautiful. Mm, she's almost doing her. Sh she's doing. She does. She she does everything, almost everything, by her own uh, strength, power. Yeah. Sometimes, of course, uh, my dad helps me. But usually, like, she likes. She's she likes. She likes to plan she likes to care oh gosh <coughs> you see i'm a bit confused i'm a bit uh nervous <laughs> yeah uh, justin l i don't need anything brother thank you for your sharing a better day than that thank you justin uh manuela kevin this is this isn't a place to discuss politics please stop like uh, you can ask me questions about the politic uh, regarding the ukraine because uh of course, I'm, I'm aware of the situation about Ukraine, but uh, about other countries, like, uh, of course, of course, I heard and uh, read many topics, articles uh, about the Israel, but uh, I'm not following the events, like, uh, as much as events in Ukraine. But of course, uh, you know that uh, I'm the person who against uh, any any conflicts, any wars, and I'm against any people suffer, no matter where they are. Is it Israel or Palestine? Like I'm standing with people, and I'm against any wars. Uh, Tito Salivia, Pertrican, 100 with Ukrainian people. Thanks, Tita. Did you plant winter garlic? Uh, Honestly, I, I don't know about winter garlics because we have uh, really cold weather in the winter, so I'm not sure that we have garlic, winter garlic. Mm. As Ukrainian in Canada, it's heartbreaking to watch this happen to my beautiful country, my people stay safe. Thanks, Diane. 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 Uh, Paul, is this Jack Jack 2 is not Jack Jr., son of Jack is he? Whatever happened to Jack Jr.? Jack Jr. joined uh, the family who lives in uh, our village. So we gave him to that family. They were asking for the puppy. Like, when Jack Jr. Jo uh, Jackson was born, they asked him. So uh, he was here, he grew up here. And later we gave him to that family. Uh, is the loss of electricity still a problem for Ukraine during the cold weather? Uh, not now. Like, we don't have these shutdowns now, but uh, during the last uh, winter, last season, yeah, it was a problem. But uh, I didn't share, it, but approximately a week ago we had storms around Ukraine, like all over Ukraine. And uh, there are a lot of trees uh, fell down and broke electric wires. So there were no electricity, there were no internet uh, for almost two days. Yeah. 
Uh, Dave, Finnegan, love your videos of your aunt in the country. Please do more blessings to your family. Thanks a lot. Uh, let me check. Because this time I'm doing live stream using one app. So this is my first time. see the tractor the tractor is somewhere uh, Jack Jr. went to a neighbor right yeah yeah Robin it it's right I love your videos of your aunt in the country please do more blessings to your family thanks Dave yeah by the way recently it was uh, her birthday and uh, when I was visiting her there were people who um, like donate and <coughs> buy some bananas uh, exactly to my aunt. And when it was her birthday, I uh, sent her this uh, money, and she was uh, she was so impressed, like she was shocked, like she said, "Pablo, like it's a lot," because usually when uh, like my relatives they have birthdays my brother sisters of course like we do greet each other sending some amount of money like uh, because they are living in other part of ukraine and uh, i sent um, it's al almost 100 dollars <laughs> jack jack <laughs> jack is barking Almost one hundred dollars to her, and uh, converting to Ukrainian hryvnia or national currency. It's really, it's really good uh, amount. And I said that uh, this is from my subscribers, from people all over the world, and uh, I wrote your names of those people. Who are... Jack, stop! This is the. Stop barking. This is because of the people who are somewhere there. Jack, no, how? It's normal. I barely paid out. Paolo, are you and Luba planning a wedding? We do, but uh, not during the war. It's not, I think, a good idea. Uh, Roy Daniel, thanks for super chat. Hello from Florida, USA. Thanks a lot, Roy. Ramatov, nice to see you, Paula. Enjoy seeing you, Crinkle. Just say, still, God bless you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Beverly, this is Jack Jr. Uh, Steven, thanks. You're doing great. Well. Jack, Jack, no, перестань, no, что ж ты гавкаешь? No, все нормально. Не гавкай. There are some people came to our neighbors, so he is barking. Uh, Kim Jones, Paolo, do you and Luba plan on moving to the house you are fixing up? Well, uh, I mentioned that m many times, like, that house is located really, really far from the city, from the town and from this uh, location, and uh, that house is uh, suitable like like a dacha yeah dacha is like the summer summer house because to live there during the winter like we to make the house suitable to live in the winter we should change there everything and there are no hidden apart from the stove which we had like maybe you remember there, there is a stove and uh I said that one day I'll probably, I definitely heat up that stove because I'm really a fan of stoves. But to live there for the uh, permanent, <coughs> I don't think it's a good idea. So probably, so probably we're not. Uh, Cheryl Watelihey, there from Tux Tucson or Tucson, Arizona Oblast. Wow, Arizona Oblast. Oblast means region, Arizona region. 
but in Ukraine we say oblast. Christine Cooper, I loved the video several years ago when you went to the mountains to ski and stayed in the... You mean in the B&B it's like bed and breakfast or what? Yeah, we stayed with uh, in a place which was rented by one woman and she is renting her house. She's still renting her house. We have her Instagram account, so sometimes we are checking her uh, like upgrades. She's, tr she's trying to upgrade everything there. And probably like one day, maybe even this winter, we'll, we'll go there to check her, to check the... Like, we miss. We miss mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we miss traveling. Of course, uh, where we were this uh, year. We were in Odessa. We were in Vinnytsia. Uh, last year we went to Lviv, yeah, last last summer, yeah, you hear tractor, again. Yeah, Steven, you're right, it will be for Airbnb, <laughs> but only for some uh, wild lovers, to people who really likes, to people who really like such conditions. Is the electricity and heat still reliable in your area? I ask because of the Russian air strikes. Uh, now it's reliable. Now there is no issues with the electricity, but who knows what will be in the in winter? If Russia will do these uh, air strikes on our power stations, that obviously will have these issues with electricity. Will they do that or not? I think they will. They will attack our power stations again. So that's why we were, uh, if you remember, insulating the house. So that's why we are preparing woods to hit the house. So, yeah. <coughs> uh, Phils, when does the next video come? Slow your videos. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. What else do you live? Uh, what oblast do you live? I live in Ternopil. Uh, we were in Ternopil when we were on our way to Carpathians. It was two years ago. It was like one month before war started. Uh, we say oblast to police operator Starsky. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh, we live in uh, Poltava oblast or Poltava region. It's like uh, between Kyiv region and uh, Kharkiv region. Uh, red greetings and love from Canada. Beautiful evening for a tractor ride, Stephen. Yeah, probably. Uh, many people in countryside, they are using these uh, tractors. They are using this. Do you remember uh, I had a video with my dad where we were putting uh, wheels on, uh, on their mot motor block? So many people they have in these small tractors, they have these motor blocks and they are like uh, driving around the countryside, they are driving to their friends, visit them because yeah, unfortunately not everyone uh, can afford the car or like any other vehicle so many people they have these uh, motor blocks and it's good because it's good to have motor block because you can uh, use it on your field like to work with your land and you can ride around or drive around uh face rather i remember your face from my uh, previous live streams love 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 uh love the videos with your aunt greetings to her when you speak thanks a lot face <coughs> uh is it cheap for foreigners to buy a land to build house in ukraine any documents limits it depends on the region, uh, because there are really a lot of places where you can even like buy land for one hundred dollars for like one acre or even two acres, but it will be somewhere in the middle of the nowhere, like far away from the civilization. Not far away. Let's say maybe one hundred kilometers, or maybe yeah, around one hundred. It's, it will be like the, the cheapest options to buy the land or to buy the house. 
Do you remember, like, in those areas where my aunt lives, it's Zhitomir region, it's like 20 kilometers from Belarusian border. You remember that the uh, houses there, they cost like 400, 500, and there are a lot of empty houses, and nobody wants to live there. No, uh, Everybody is trying to, like, um, leave this place to move somewhere closer to the city, to the town. Because such villages, they villages they don't have place places to work, no places to entertain yourself, like. But many people mm, is still uh, stay there, live there, like my aunt, because she, there is no place where she can go, where she can move. So, yeah. Uh, what about document limits? Honestly, uh, I don't remember about the, the requirements, but uh, for me, like, I, I remember that I checked uh, it one day, and if uh, the foreigner will open this, uh, like, uh, tax number in Ukraine, he will be able to buy everything he wants, like the car, the house, the land. But, for example, if you buy the land here in Ukraine, you anyway need to like permission or to live here because uh, your visa will end one day and later you can you you have to prolong this visa or apply for some long visa so maybe it, it's it's easy to buy the land or the house but uh, you have to if you are planning to stay here for a long period you have to apply like for maybe for um, residence and later no, after residence you can stay for uh, longer periods <sighs> uh, here in the US we don't hear much about the war in Ukraine it's nice to hear any news at all and see you in Luba I would love to hear you speak in Ukrainian thank you Dian I don't know, actually, if you understand Ukrainian language but if you understand Ukrainian language then that's my Ukrainian language and uh, mm, I often speak Ukrainian in my videos with Luba because sometimes you remember that sometimes I speak English, sometimes I speak Ukrainian to Luba, but she she understands English. But uh, sometimes I just uh, f uh, forgot to switch to English, so uh, I put these subtitles even to my speech in my videos. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's a bit it's a bit dark, but. Yeah, let me increase my display. Damn, as I see, as I see that you, I have so many pixels, but it's okay. Um, I hope that you can hear me. Hearing you yesterday, don't hear. Yeah, I read that. Um, Blabber tube. I got my new passport. I'll be back in Mikolaya with the end of this month for a three month stay. Talk to people. I know there they say it's pretty much back to norm normal. Um, but it's still it's still close to the front line. So please be safe there. Uh, Norma Forest. Lol. Uh, 18 Celsius. Winter to me. I am in Georgia, USA. Yeah great it's really good winters having 18 celsius uh dacian rider or yeah I, I think dacian rider sometimes guys you have so uh, complicated nicknames or names so i'm sorry if i spell it wrong out of my way i got here late hey paulo how are the pros prospects for the average ukrainian worker right now what are the most of after jobs what is so attempt to find uh-huh well uh, of course it depends on your field for example mm, of course like the easiest way it's IT field because you can find so many jobs online remote in some international companies but to people who are let's say 
40 plus, 40 years plus, or 45, 50 years plus. It's it's hard. It's hard to find some uh, nice paid, good paid job, especially right now, like during the war and during such situation and prices. I don't know how about you guys, but prices in Ukraine raised maybe two times. Like let's say 20 or 30 percent for the last two months. Every time when we go to the uh, grocery store, every time we shocked because, for example, it's it's growing in our national currency in hryvnia. Maybe if, you know, like if we convert these prices to dollars, it will be <laughs> like cheap for you. But uh, according to our national currency, people like receive salary here and uh, during these two years of war like salaries they stayed same uh, pensions they stayed same like nothing changed no improvements but the prices like they raised two times so every time when we went to the store it's really like <laughs> it's, it's sadness it's sadness because I, I don't know how how that's possible to survive. For example, if you're alone, if you like live on your pension, it's really it's 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 difficult. It's like difficult. It's ten times difficult. A A A. If you want to come, he or she writes. If you want to visit Istanbul, yeah, we can. Uh, прийняти вас як гості. Дякую. Thanks a lot for for your kindness. Yeah. Uh, if one day I will visit Istanbul, uh, I will I will what? <laughs> I know sometimes you know where, like many people write here like Pablo, if one day you come here, you come to my country, uh, I'll be waiting for you, be my guest. Of course, uh, like you know that before the war, like me and Luba we were thinking that uh, like this summer we'll be able to visit like some countries to meet you somewhere and then like uh, all our plans and plans of uh, all the country like all of ukrainians they just crushed because of the war but thank you so much for your kindness aaa uh, then, do you guys have the app Tinder? Yeah, we do have Tinder. We do have uh, another apps uh, like to meet someone, to date someone, but they are like have different names. But Tinder, mm, I I would say the most uh, not the common. Mm, yeah, like the most regular, the most common app for dating. It's getting dark there. Here it's nine in the morning. It's guys you see it's dark but it's only 5 5 uh, p.m only 5 p.m and there is no moon but it's already dark and uh, a week ago we also changed time like the clock Cl yeah we had minus one hour back and we still change in this time every season like in the summer before the summer we change time plus one hour and before the winter we change time minus one hour so that's why it's so dark but it's only 5 p.m. and you remember uh, from my videos that uh, it was really day at uh, 8 p.m. 9 p.m. in the summer but now it's uh, half past four and it's getting dark all right let's go uh, it's getting dark yeah uh, so there is still electricity turned on in the house you are fixing up yeah we have their electricity uh, do you prefer the countryside or the city mm. It's like 50-50. Uh, I like uh, countryside maybe even more because of the mm, cal calm life. No rush, no traffic jams, no crowd of people. 
but I like uh, cities because uh, sometimes you you just need to be among the, around the people around this rush like uh, <laughs> to visit some stores to visit some malls so it's 50 50 mm. yeah let me go back Tuck, tuck, tuck. I entertain myself better than anyone else can because I know what I like and don't even I like something I really like it, it if I don't really don't. Uh, Blair tube. It's too hard to understand what did you mean. I like Libba speaking Ukrainian. Uh, just go on Jack Jr. Libba spoke English beautifully in her Borscht video. Yeah, I, I, I tried to to like to push Luba speaks more but uh, she's really shy a bit or not a bit she's she's just shy she's shy that she will uh, make mistakes and people will think something bad about her but uh, the only one way to improve your English is to speak because every time when I uh, make mistakes I'm after like I, I watched my I watched my videos or I watched my live streams, I see that oh, I made mistake and I have to like fix it to correct it. Uh, is it the moon? The background is beautiful. <laughs> it's not a moon. It's the the lamp, this street street lamp. Uh, you can leave or enter between midnight and five in the evening, but everything is open for now. Uh, Blair tube. In Ukraine, in uh, every region apart from, as I know, uh, Ujarat region, everywhere we have a curfew, so you can't uh, leave, like go outside, starting from 12 p.m. until 5 a.m. Like you, it's you're allowed allowed to go outside only if you have permission, or you work in ambulance or police or some other services which uh, service people like elevators and other <coughs> uh, what is the opinion of Ukrainians to the New Year's Republican Speaker of the House denying aid that is tied to Israel and the POTUS demands hmm well I cannot answer mm, from all Ukrainians, but uh, mm, according to the comments below, below such uh, like news in Telegram or somewhere else, mm, people they are for that that the U.S. provide this uh, help to Israel to Ukraine. Uh, in the same way, in the same proportion, because everybody understands uh, the situation in Israel, and uh, like Ukraine stands with people of Israel, so it's okay. Mm, I hope that I understood the question uh, correctly. The house nine aid that is tied to Israel and as the pot demands. Po, po, po. Uh, epidemic tunes, I'm a big fan of Pavlo, nice down to earth guy. Thanks, epidemic. I think some more expensive here too. Ah, oh, Steven. <laughs> Seems that this, uh, like it's everywhere. Price is going up a lot everywhere. Yeah. How far are you from Ternopil Oblast? Mm, really far, maybe uh, 700 kilometers approximately. Maybe 600, but it's far. Very difficult for the older generations. Yes. Everything is very expensive now in the US and they don't pay you any more money to, to keep up groceries at twice cost from a year ago yeah same here same in, same in ukraine how much is ukrainian pension on average on average it's 55 dollars 
uh, the lowest pension the lowest like the minimum is about 50 dollars and i know that many of uh, pensioners of elderly people they receive this minimum because uh, many of them they don't have like a lot of uh, work experience uh, and uh, that's why many of them receive the minimum uh, Jay West where would your dream visit be like I have many places many places like I, I can't say just one place Uh, epidemic of Ukraine, Ukraine's great country will be best country soon and I will meet Paul one day. I hope so. I hope so. Epidemic. Uh, ghost, uh, привет. Uh, he asking me, do you speak only Ukrainian now or Russian too? Hi from Germany, Slava to Ukraine. Ghost, it's uh, like, I know that, like, I, I, sti I still meet people who... Uh, who speak Russian in big cities many people speak Russian and uh, like it's really like hard topic like this uh, language topic in Ukraine is really complicated and uh, like many people uh, speak Russian without any problems and uh, many people they switched to Ukrainian after the war started so you know like it depends on the on the person like if uh, that person uh, speak Ukrainian like of course I answering in Ukrainian if uh, that person speak Russian it de depends uh, on who are that person if uh, that person is like my friend like I I even my friends many of them who are living in the cities or even uh, some of them who fled from Ukraine many of them uh, speak Russian like and it, it's okay like there is no issues with Russian sometimes sometimes we have cases where people uh, having some conflicts between each other but uh, I how I treat such uh, cases I I think that it's not the time to like to create such conflicts between each other between Ukrainians like because we have uh, we have like the huge conflict with a neighboring country we have a war so I don't think that's a good idea like to conflict conflict between uh, each others here like between Ukrainians because it, it will divide it, it is dividing people because some people they stand for uh, Ukrainian language like everywhere some people say that uh, like Russian language is okay like we we've been speaking Russian so many years like we can't uh, switch to Ukrainian it, it's it's it, it's okay like it sounds uh, mm, sounds how how o objectively I don't know if it's correct so of course uh, I was born in Ukrainian speaking family and most of my uh, relatives and friends they speak Ukrainian so f uh, it's like 80% uh, Ukrainian and 20% uh, uh, Russian I would say <coughs> we changed back one hour last night in Virginia oh really I think that uh, only we changed hours here in Ukraine I, I I didn't know that uh, people in US they also change uh, time. Yeah, I see so many comments, new new comments. Yeah, a winter time adjustment. Our sky is a little bit brighter, but that's only because of the city lights. Oh, I see that now. It's completely dark. Uh, let me check on my phone. How I look like. Mm. I can uh, turn on the flashlight on my phone, but I, I don't think it will help you help me a lot.
so yeah uh, let me continue to read your comments привет from germany привет walkie talkie uh, see the time change happened in us last night well also our us will change time in march also yeah this is the same like in uh, ukraine yeah but probably this flashlight is good but let me yeah it seems nice it's better mm, привет from france привет romain walkie talkie uh, where is your Jinka? She is in the house. Uh, preach, make those mistakes and improve. It's the only way. Yeah. Uh, making mistakes is the process of learning. Yeah, this is I exactly what I think, or how I think. We don't care about mistakes. Using another language is not easy. Yeah. Oh, Gregory. Uh, hi, Gregory. Hi, Paolo. Good to see you're looking well. It's sunny and hot there here in my part of South Africa. Greetings to Luba and your family. Hi, Gregory. This is, by the way, uh, one of my English teachers, Gregory. Yeah, he's from South Africa. And he was uh, uh, one of those who offered me free English lessons. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, all right. I will... Uh, take this yeah Gregory thanks uh, hope you're good we have to uh, we have to talk yeah maybe I'll write you an email there is no car for you currently in Mikolaev if you stay in the city limits Probably Mikolaev have has curfew. Maybe outside of the city, you don't have a curfew, but uh, in the city you definitely have a curfew. Why do they make you have a curfew like that? I didn't know they all had a curfew. Uh, first of all, for security reasons, uh, for safety. Uh, yeah, that's why. It, the car we have curfew since the war started first of all to protect people from uh, from any possible crime that uh, may happen now how do you feel about the doctors there in Ukraine the health care mm, health care medicine it's uh, also to tough topic because uh, yeah it's not the best and uh, it's better to to be healthy and avoid any si avoid any sickness doctors we have good doctors we have bad doctors it depends uh, it depends yeah but the last time i was attending i was in the hospital it was maybe I don't even know, like many years ago, because probably when you have some um, flu, you just eat uh, like ibuprofen or some um, powders like wh who has paracetamol or ibuprofen and you just uh, drink teas, tea, tea, a lot of tea, a lot of uh, liquid. This is the way how we uh, How we? Oh, I I forgot the word. <laughs> Wish you good health. This is the way how we <laughs> recover recover our sickness. Hi, Paula. I've been calling my representative for more Ukraine at eight. Thanks a lot, Carbon. Uh, Cheryl Wotely, do you work for Real Ukraine Channel? Uh, I do not work, but I I am helping them. It's a different situation. Israel and US have been military allies since the uh, 1940s. Uh, you must have wonderful bright stars there with this darkness. Yeah, we do have a lot of stars, but uh, not now. Because of the lamps, yeah, we had this uh, street lamps for maybe two months because before we didn't have uh, 
they were not working these street lamps but now we have so uh, even during the night we have these uh, lamps on the street uh, hi from uh, brass of romania i love your channel how do you see the word station finishing it's complicated very complicated and uh, i don't know you know like uh, it uh, started suddenly and probably it will be over suddenly but how and when it's really complicated it's hard to say something because uh, i don't know if you were if if you read uh, articles from general Zaluzhny, from uh, economist uh, magazine right or economist was uh, yeah, economist, I guess. A recent article, uh, his interview. So he mentioned that uh, there is a stalemate in the war, and only after receiving some new technologies, um, something will change. Yeah. Hello from Argentina, Yakov Ukrainian news. Hello there. Uh, are there mosquitoes out? No, no mosquitoes at all. Donald Preston, I hope Ukraine has enough doctors to take care of wounded soldiers. They must be very tired of seeing horrific injuries. Their mental health is going to be bad after this war is over. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I uh, I watched videos as, um, exactly from um, medical workers who work on the front lines and it's really heartbroken when you see these videos footages oh gosh uh, I have a wish to visit Ukraine but that requires an invitation mm, really mm, can't you visit Ukraine having a regular visa actually Crimea is the warmest in Ukraine yeah because it's located uh, the most like southern it's one in the morning here in Australia. I have go to the bed. Wish you and your family and your country the best. Thanks, Lime. Have a good night. Oh, stuck. Mm. Uh, Dutch writer, I would only have a conflict with proponents of Ruski Merdis. The language itself is not a fault. Yeah. I, I, I have same... Uh, thoughts about this my grand uh, grandmother was from a great great grandfather was from poland so you have uh ukrainian and half poland polish uh can i send you some mexican candy yeah you can do that you can uh, write me to my email and i'll share the post address post box Friend in te Texas. Hello, Pablo from Lake Lenquiston, Texas. Hi there, Frank. Uh, flashlight helped a great deal. Yeah. We can still see you. We can still see you, but the flashlight helps a lot. Yeah, it's good. It's great. Sin Lord Nelson Zoledu na dobro zlišila samo državstvo. Ne hodit se porošiti će zljaka od tih, to prosto govorit rusijsko či ukrajinsko. Yeah. I mean, you write you can't leave or enter the city of Mikolaev between midnight and five in the morning, not evening. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, blur tube. Uh, that is correct. Our time doesn't change in Arizona. Yesterday we were in California time, today we are in New Mexico time. It's like sometimes um, it feels to me that uh, you guys who live in US like you live in a really like different state it's like different country because you have this own uh, laws own rules and uh, the school of gregory yes i barely put out your english is much better now thanks barely uh, uh, Matt bitner paulo what's the latest with military conscription are they conscripting large amounts of new people for the war efforts 
Well, I cannot say that there are like mm, that it was increased because, uh, for example, before I was uh, meeting uh, these guys, these like drafting officers outside. Uh, <coughs> I met them twice, and it was maybe uh, half a year ago. And after that, uh, like, uh, I I didn't see them for a while, maybe like half a year approximately. But of course, I uh, I saw many news that uh, some uh, foreign foreign experts. They said that Ukraine must uh, conscript uh, more people, they must conscript more men uh, in order to to win. But what is the reality? And uh, like you see that uh, I'm still not conscripting. Mm, of course, uh, it's because of my... Uh, absence of the experience of military experience and uh, because of my uh, speciality like from my because of my degree university degree oh, yeah. i don't have to change my clocks Росія завершила справу, тому що створити цільно це присвячу українську державу це значно міру питання мови та культурні тетичні так як от музика на бандурі yeah of course I, i'm for ukrainian language and uh, like even before many years before the war started like when many people were speaking russian outside in university in school like i just don't understand why like why they are doing that because i was speaking ukrainian with my parents at home with my grandparents and uh, i was like mm. Like every time when I was there, like I just switched to Russian because like everybody was speaking Russian that time. But now it's not like that. Like more and more people, they're trying to speak Ukrainian. They're trying to switch to Ukrainian. But uh, yeah, as they said before, there are still many people who, who speak Russian. And uh, like, to be honest, uh, like, you know, that we are, we traveled a lot this year and uh, i met many many military guys men and women who speak russian like on the gas station in cafes outside and it's not the problem at all nobody will tell something to to the military who speak who speaks russian uh, there are no mistakes with friends. I will be encouraged to use my Ukrainian if Luba speaks English. Uh, hardest thing about traveling to Ukraine is getting through all the airports. I'll be worried until I get across the Ukrainian border. Once I cross everything, I'll be fine. Prepare for anything. Yeah, like you can enter Ukraine only through the some neighboring country like Poland, like uh, Moldova. <laughs> mm, I know that like most of people they are they do that uh, through Poland. So you have to fly somewhere to Poland and after that uh, take a trip on the bus or by train. Багато людей про гатих чи бідних щасливих, що лікар просто на півкомпетенту дасть їм пропуск, а не кусає їх за п'яти. Seems that you are using translator. A story behind your New York Jets winter hat. Uh, I bought that uh, hat in the thrift store or second-hand store. Yeah, I have many like such uh, hats. I remember that uh, that I have orange hat. It was it also from second-hand store and uh, it orange orange color. Seems it's from Holland. Mm. Uh, I used to live in Kiev during the week and Dutch on the weekends. Uh, yeah, we live in the city during the week and uh, visit countryside on the weekends. But it's not the Kiev. Yeah, my parents, they live in Kiev. 
uh, and we visit them maybe once per few weeks or once per month. Так, let's go back. Я буду вчити вас української економіки, тримайте свої військові лінії разом з військовою пресою, це містично суперечливо. Дерен Смит, я wondered how you haven't been conscripted by force to the war effort, effort, how you are dodging or avoiding. I'm not avoiding, I'm not dodging, like you see that, uh, like we are living where we were living uh, all the time, we are traveling through many blog posts, like every time when we go somewhere, for example, to visit my aunt in the Tommy region, we went through maybe five blog posts and everywhere like uh, military they are checking your documents like I've, I've been to the drafting office uh, because every every man in ukraine he is uh, like regist registered in drafting office and anytime you can be called anytime you can be conscripted so i i i see that many people all always ask me paulo how uh, are you dodging or avoiding like if you think like for example we have uh, approximately 10 millions of uh, men between 18 to 60 and if you think that it's possible to conscript 10 millions of men civilians like it's not so easy and of course the government the military uh, first of all they are trying to conscript people who at least have some experience or or people who have some certain profession will uh, which will be uh, useful in the military so and du during this uh, two years they were mobilized approximately 300,000 men and if we take 10 millions and 300,000 men it's only 3% of men and that's why you see so many men walking on the streets, um, like uh, in cities, like everywhere. Like, I know that um, many people, foreigners, you, like you think that uh, like every man is uh, in the military, every man is on the front line, but it's not like, like that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, many of our uh, like who it was uh, the helper of Zelensky his secretary he 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 have been telling this many times that uh, like everyone should be ready everyone should be ready to fight and of course like uh, <coughs> if you ask me Pablo like, is it scary? Of course. Of course it, it is scary. Mm. But, uh, like, we, mm. I mean, you know that some people, they left Ukraine, some people stayed U in Ukraine. And, mm, like, uh, blaming people who stayed in Ukraine that they are not in the army, it's it's also it's not right it's not correct um, I just like less for seven days when I arrive in Ukraine from Alabama out of folks in US speak only Spanish what are you born Sasha did what are you born what does it mean what are you born Так, let me. Hi, Paul, since Christmas is coming soon, how do you celebrate Christmas? Just having a uh, family din dinner. Anything special for Christmas? Oh, I, I even forgot. 
Yeah, let me check what you've been thinking about my Korean doesn't throw people into a war without experience like Russia. He's got a popular YouTube channel, how is he is hiding? Yeah, it's also like the fact. Like, it's <laughs> when someone says hiding, like, of course, like, maybe some people they are hiding, they are sitting just at home, they are not going outside, they are not traveling, they are not uh, like uh, driving around Ukraine, not visiting other regions. Uh, but it's not uh, like <laughs> easy to have a YouTube channel to film everything and uh, be in hiding. Uh, uh, they make it sound like there aren't enough men for the fort. I know that they are uh, saying that like they need more men for the fort, but y you you sh you have to understand that like. You have to prepare everyone, you have to e equip everyone, you have to give some knowledges. Like, preparation, it may be like, as minimum half a year, it takes half a year. But if we will talk about, for example, uh, jet pilots, it's more than a year. So it's really complicated, like, many people just think that uh, like Ukraine should uh, like take all the men like uh, like let's say several millions and put them to the on the war but you like even if I uh, join the army like I I want to be ready I want like to pass the some course the preparation to have the equipment to have the weapon That's why Ukraine is asking for some weapon, for some aid. Oh. Uh, I've known Paolo for five years. Mm, not five, maybe two and a half. Mm. We are scared for you in Ukraine, but really put, put out. Like, you have nothing to be uh, worried about. Like, I'm in Ukraine and I'm, I'm not scared. Just maybe sometimes, because you know, like mm, the last days, and especially during the summer, we really have uh, drones attacks, missile attacks almost every night, and sometimes you just hear the sounds of the missile or the sound of the drone and yeah sometimes it's scary because like we're located uh, like on the way to Kiev and sometimes these missiles and drones they are flying above us, us. <coughs> Ukrainian military commanders knows what they are doing obviously yeah Armen Mm, Paula, my parents are good, thanks. Thanks, they are cute. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, most of people are helping the best way they are able, uh, as those of us are doing in US who have family in Ukraine. How far are you from the border now? It's maybe... <clears throat> mm. It depends from the like the way, like if we go to the north, it's maybe like three hundred kilometers. If we go to the east, it's five hundred kilometers to Russia. Uh, but the drone work for your country. You have a skill with it to your military service and then. Uh, John Dale, yeah, you know, like, uh, I do trainings uh, on FPV drone in case if I will be mobilized or inscripted. 
so I passed I passed this training and uh, like I do trainings I do trains physically <sighs> yeah uh, visiting gym doing bench press doing squats uh, will you be going to leave Christmas market at Renox Square this year? We would be, like to see the video. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I missed Lviv a bit, but uh, I don't know. Uh, we want more videos about building houses, Ukrainian cooking, life in general. Keep doing this. Thanks, David. Will do. Uh, Steven Mocha. Steven, a few drones are the new face of war for warfare. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, uh, like I like drones because uh, one day I was dreaming to become the pilot, like the aircraft pilot. So I, I like uh, uh, some uh, flight simulators. And I like drones. Uh, is there any organization near Lviv that can help me find a fam me, my family in Ukraine? Um, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know such organizations. What about Ukraine Mafia? My son is a drone pilot, I'm going to a theater, uh, have a good movie in the theater. Me too, it's when to flight school when in the military it, it wasn't for me. Ah, yeah. I remember that you were, uh, you were military. <laughs> Uh, hello from California. The house you are renovating is the house in your family, or did you buy it? It, w it it's the house where uh, Duba's granddad lived, like many years ago. <coughs> Jack, stop. Oh. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs> the Jackson friend barking, yeah. <laughs> mm, Big Tech, what can I send you to help you and your family? Like, mm, there is no things like we need. Like, thankfully, we can buy everything in the store, <coughs> and uh, there is no issues with supply. So we have all uh, like products that we need in the stores. If you want, you can send just some, uh, I don't know, uh, like attributes of your country or magnet or some sweets. Uh, what are some stereotypes about Romanian and Moldovan, Moldovan people that are usually discussed in Ukraine? A lot of people here in Romania are skeptical about our relationship because past events. Mm. Well, I haven't heard for a while that Ukrainians were discussing people, Romanian people or Moldovan people. So, you know that uh, like our number one topic and top topic is the war. And it's already two years. And starting from uh, 24th of February last year, like it's like we have... Mm, new life and uh, to be honest like I forgot everything that we had before because it was like a dream because before the war like every year like every summer we were visiting the sea we have some vacations um, but now like uh, like the life the life of uh, the ordinary people just stopped and everybody is waiting for like resuming of that previous life. I'm ready to donate every month to that 
cause until Ukraine victory. And I'm sure there will be a lot of people in the West doing the same if they know it's official and well used. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree that uh, um, that some people who are abroad, some I mean foreigners and people from another countries, they are also a bit tired of the war, and uh, some of them they don't understand uh, where the money goes. And uh, I'm for that that uh, we provide all report rep, re reports like how we use that money where they went because it should be fair and people uh, have to understand how their money were used <coughs> uh, did you have first snow because in latvia we had no we didn't have like it it's like summer we had like uh sun shines shown sun shown uh, it was 20 degrees so no no winter yes we turned our clocks back in almost all of the us it's uh, 9 45 a.m here it's a pain in the i'm surprised ukraine does this supposed to be more daylight in the morning for the school children probably i don't know that uh, in the summer before the summer we change time because of the people who who work uh, on the fields with the land for this drivers combine combine uh, tractors what a soviet culture has left in ukraine mm, soviet culture mm. some visible culture i don't even know Mm, you know, maybe like the only Soviet what uh, has left in U left in Ukraine is uh, some people and their like had their views because uh, some people they still have this uh, Soviet views they still uh, missing Soviet time since this is the only one seen from the Soviet. I'm Romanian, we've been invaded 12 times in the history, but Russians, so I'll keep helping Ukraine until victory, thanks. Giuliano, probably. I'm from South Africa, African speaking, and don't miss your podcast. My heart go out to Ukrainian people, it's almost summer here, today is 29 degrees, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that... Uh, you guys uh, in South Africa, you have winter when we have summer, and you have summer when we have winter. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, Cheryl, the money going to Ukraine through official channels is closely monitored. Actually, more equipment than money is going, and taxpayers pay the replacement cost to U.S. industries. Yeah, but uh, beside these official channels, there are like hundreds or even thousands of different foundations true true elderly probably have old soviet thinking yeah some of elderly people they still have this soviet thinking soviet is the past there is no soviet union anymore for sure mm, how how long how many hours passed? Mm. Po, 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 po. Ah, it's uh, one hour and twenty-four minutes, and it's five fifty-two. So, I I think it's ah, you know, guys, I I was yeah. Let me mm. last time I already do that, and I want to do that again just to talk to the stranger so i'll share with uh, you i will share the link with you mm, talk uh, so i just share the link with you and uh, whoever wants you can join this link and uh, 
ask me something or just talk to me. Yeah, so don't hesitate, you can follow that link and join Mm, yes, you have to find people you can trust, like 69th Stephen Brigade, Razum for Ukraine, Revived Soldiers of Ukraine. Uh, can you be hired to assist with the purchase process of property in Western Ukraine, looking in the Carpathian view of homeless? Of course. Why not? So, nobody wants to join me and to talk to me. Where nobody see this link. Did you see the link I sent here? Oh, no, some somebody's here, Frank. Uh, hi there. But uh, mm -hmm -hmm. seems you are using OBS. David? Hi, David. Uh, Randy? Emily? Hi, everybody. Hey, Pablo. Uh, how's everyone doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> uh, it's you... Emily and Jess from the US. Emily, hello there. Nice to see you and nice to see everybody. How are you? Uh, top, top, top. Give me a sec, guys. Give me a second. Uh, po, 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 po. All right, so I, I think that I will uh, I will finish the live stream on YouTube, and I will stay with you guys for some time, and we can speak because I don't know, uh, like the sound probably the sound goes from uh, the live stream and from this uh, Google Meet, but stay safe. Uh, guys, uh, for uh, who, for those who are watching the live stream, you he you hear me just one time or several times? Just one time here. Just one time. Okay. Mm, uh, why nobody has video? Show me your faces. <laughs> <laughs> Why I'm here alone having video? Give me a second and I will do that. I'm just getting up. It's early here. Okay. Uh. Hello to everybody else too. My name is Randy. I'm from the west coast of Canada, Vancouver Island. Hello, Randy. Hello. Oh, we have... We have Howdy, everybody. You see, we have Santa Claus here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Santa. Uh, Santa, your mi your mic is off. Hello everybody. Hello there. Hello Santa. Santa is <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hi Steven. How Marian? Hello. Yeah, I'm good. Well, Stephen, you have you have a nice beard. <laughs> Not so nice. I'm just lazy. Lazy to shave? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I will finish the live stream. So thanks to everybody who was watching me. Thanks a lot. And if you want, you can join Google Meet. I wish you all the best and I will see you in my next videos and my live streams. So if you want, you can join our Google Meet. If not, uh, have a good one and I'll see you later. So bye bye. Так. Yeah. Um.